Yeah. Talk about where the Antichrist, the false prophet, and the battle of Armageddon may come in before we leave. Well, at the beginning of the seven-year tribulation period, remember I told you in chapter 6, they're beginning the three sets of seven judgments, the seven sealed judgments in chapter 6. Chapter 6, verses 1 and 2, talks about a man on a white horse. He has a crown on his head, he has a bow in his hand without any arrows, and he goes forth across the earth. Now, many think that may be Jesus Christ because they know when he comes back to the earth, chapter 19, verse 11 and following, he gets on a white horse to come back, verse 14. Those of us who have just married Jesus Christ had our seven year celebration. We'll mount white horses coming back with him. And by the way, that is the time when Jesus gets the title, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. When you look at verse 16 of chapter 19, on his vesture, on his thigh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, God the Father is going to give him that. But the Antichrist will be in that first sealed judgment, the man on the white horse. And then at the midway point of the tribulation, halfway through that seven year period of time, the false prophet, chapter 13 of the book of Revelation, will appear to lift up the Antichrist in everything he does. Now you don't want to miss that program. It's very important to understand what's going to happen and what the rest of the world is going to have to do to deal with the Antichrist and his statue there in a temple in the city of Jerusalem, which the Antichrist has desecrated. And then we conclude the seven year period of time. That's when all the nations of the world will gather at Jerusalem, Zechariah chapter 14 and verse two. And at that point in time, I would say that's the beginning of the campaign. We use that word battle of Armageddon. It's the campaign of Armageddon. And on a program in the future, we're gonna explain all of that. So you have the Antichrist, you have the false prophet appearing at the midway point, you have the campaign of Armageddon, just prior to the return of Jesus Christ.